Hi, uh, my name is Fu Tian Zhang from University of Waterloo, and today I'm going to present this paper named Conductor. Intersection based bimenu pointing in AR and VR. This work is done together with the supervision of Professor Keiko Kazulagawa and Professor Edward Link. Pointing is an elementary interaction in VR and AR environments. And to effectively support target selection, techniques must deal with the challenges of uh, occlusion and depth specification. This picture shows an example of such challenges. The yellow target in the further cluster was occluded by the target in the closer cluster. And previous work has explored several ways to handle occlusion problem. Techniques like depth ray and ray cursor use a cursor on the ray to, inter, uh, to indicate the depths. The idea is intuitive, but they may require careful control of the cursor with transfer functions. And some techniques would provide an explicit, explicit second confirmation step. For example, flower ray would spread the occluded target, with, which allows users to reselect. And outline pursuits check users' eye movement and also put a moving dot on the outline of the target. Targets will be selected when the eye movement matches the dot trace. They can be precise, but it is also time consuming. And intersection based selection were also explored by researchers. Smart rays, for example, allow users to reselect from another angle which, again, require two careful selections. In ICs, using the closest point of two rays, which is very hard to control, since a small angle change in height could also lead to a large displacement. I'm going to talk more about ray cursor, a competing technique which we are going to compare later in the user study. Ray cursor is an improvement of ray casting, and with a cursor on the ray, Recursor explores three different transfer functions to map finger movement on the touchpad of a VR controller to the cursor movement along the ray. And the closest target will be selected. Recursor has two modes. For manual mode, the cursor could be moved manually based on the finger movements. And for semi-automatic mode, the cursor will be automatically moved to the first target on the ray, and the user could also adjust the cursor manually. In this paper, we propose Conductor, an intuitive plane ray intersection based 3D pointing technique where users leverage bimanual input to control a ray and the intersecting plane. As shown in this picture, there is a plane attached to the non dominant hand, but it's invisible to users to avoid blocking user's view. And also, there is a ray attached to the dominant hand. And the intersection of the plane and the ray will be used to specify the depth of the ray. And we also have this uh, dotted line connect the cursor and the non-dominant hand to provide some visual feedback for the users. And that means the conductor provided this, this mechanism to directly point on the ray. And here is a more detailed video to explain this technique. And we can see the ray from the dominant hand and the plane on the dominant hand, and also the ray, uh, the right cursor in the intersection of the plane and the ray. Conductor also has two modes, a manual mode and a semi-automatic mode. For manual mode, a cursor is played in place in the intersection of the plane and the ray, and the target closest to the intersection will be selected. And for semi-automatic mode, only the target on the ray and closest to the intersection of the plane and ray will be selected. So there are also some videos of these two modes. And we can see that the cursor for manual mode is placed right in the intersection. 
and the target closest to the cursor will be selected. And for semi-automatic mode, uh, only the targets on the ray will be selected rather than the intersection. And we can see that there are two targets on the ray, but only the one closest to the intersection will be selected. Uh, we can also tell uh, from the video that the depth specification, which is using non the non-dummy hand, could be done together with the dummy and pointing, and which is time saving and also intuitive, since you just need to like point the approximate place of the target. Okay, so now let's talk about the experiment. And the task is to alternatively select targets from two clusters of balls, like here. The technique here and here is semi-automatic. Uh, conductor. And for experiment settings, we have uh, recruited 12 participants, 10 of them are male and 2 are female. And we also have 4 techniques, which are uh, menu conductor, semi-auto conductor, menu recursor, and semi-auto recursor. And we also have 2 density settings, uh, which are uh, 15 uh, targets per cluster and 40 targets per cluster. And we also have two sizes settings, which are 4 centimeters and 8 centimeters. So overall, we have 432 data points per participant. And note that the settings are almost the same as setting in ray cursor experiments. And so we can get to this a uh, rough idea of the performance. And also we are using Oculus Quest rather than HTC Vive. So we are not using touchpad rather than, uh, but, but the uh, joystick on the controller. And occlusion could happen in two ways. The first one is within cluster like this one and also between clusters uh, like this. So uh, factor sizes and the densities could also be the main influence of the inclusion. Uh, since like a larger in size and the higher densities could also increase the occlusion. And now let's see the result. So for cost, uh, for task completion time, uh, overall the conductor technique were faster uh, than the corresponding uh, recursor variance. And focusing specifically on the semi-automatic techniques, semi-auto conductor was 21% faster than semi-auto recursor technique. And menu conductor had a similar advantage over menu recursor. And uh, the uh, menu conductor performed approximately on par uh, with semi-auto recursor. And another interesting fact is that the task completion time for recursor and semi-automatic uh, recursor is also almost the same as the original uh, conductor paper, which I think could give the, us a rough idea of the performance of our implementation with joystick and the original touchpad version. And this figure shows the error rate for each technique. With all four techniques, the error rate was less than 8%. And many conductor had the highest error rate, especially for the far and dense targets. However, the error rate of semi-automatic conductor was the lowest. And it was significantly lower than semi-automatic recursor and both other two menu techniques. And for uh, conclusion, future work, uh, in conclusion, con a conductor outperforms recursor with higher speed and less error, especially for semi-automatic conductor, and also provide this ability to intuitively point on the ray, or in other words, 3D space. As for limitations, a conductor requires both hand, which may not always be available. And the precision could also be reduced when a dense when a distance is too far. 
For future work, we may evaluate the placement for docking tasks with conductor and also may try attach the plane to other part body parts like head to free another hand. And now come to the special acknowledgement. Professor Edward Lang passed away shortly after this paper was submitted. We lost a great husband, father, supervisor, colleague, and friend. Thank you, Ed, for being in my life and brought me so much unconditional support, knowledge, and joy, which is priceless to me. It's my honor and luck to work with you. Okay, thank you. That's all of the presentation.